one of our longest running projects, which is the snare removal program. We remove snares and man traps laid in forests. The main aim is to just uh, prevent human caused injuries or reverse that. Previously, snare removal was good, but when a chimp was caught in a trap, then all you have to do is wait for it to die. But now we're saying no, we can actually remove that trap. And we've done it over and over again successfully. And today I'm proud to say we have saved 18 chimpanzees. It seems a small number, but it is huge in terms of chimp interventions. Most of the chimps that we get are juvenile, and a number of them are female. When you think about it, saving one female, you're making a huge contribution towards the chimp population. And one story that touches me most is about a chimp, Mugu Moja. Mugu Moja in Swahili means one leg. Sometime last year, the villagers called us and said, there's a chimp caught in a trap. So we dashed down to the site and I find this young female chimp just at that stage when she's about to begin to have a family and things like that. And rather than doing that, she's lying on the ground with her leg totally crushed with a trap, which is about three quarters her weight. The trap was about 14 kilograms and the individual was about 20 kilograms, 21 kilograms. It's hard to get into the mindset of these hunters. It takes seven people to open that trap. The biggest animal in that forest is the chimp. They claim the primary target is not chimpanzees. Uh, but unfortunately, chimps happen to be caught in these traps. And they move with these traps. It's amazing how strong they are. They move for kilometers, dragging this trap. So her leg was totally crushed. And the first thought was to euthanize her because it looked bad, really bad. We thought she wouldn't make it, but then we took a bold decision and said, no, we, let's give it a shot. We would rather fail trying, but let's do it. So we removed the trap, lifted her, took her to Entebbe, to the Wildlife Education Center, did an amputation of the leg. Once she had recovered, we, we returned her to the forest. It was beautiful. She, she wakes up and immediately climbs a tree. She's back in the forest now. She's back with this group. This is a small group with very few females, and that for me is... I could have retired there and then. To date, we have removed close to over 7,000 snares from about five forests. We have trained 18 former hunters to help us remove these traps. And we have removed up to 18 man traps and snares through interventions from chimps. We can actually successfully rescue these chimps from the forest, especially if it's a human-caused problem.